Yates. And despite rumors all week, TJ Yates did not show up on the waiver wire yesterday. Instead, he was traded to the Falcons for linebacker Akeem Dent. Now, Adam, how did the Texans go from possibly releasing Yates and getting nothing in return to trading him, especially trades in the NFL? They don't happen often. And then they receive a former third-round pick in Dent. Well, this is a question of language, Kevin, and that's why when you're reporting stories, you have to be very careful. The Texans never actually released TJ Yates, as some people reported. They were planning to release him, but when they were planning to release him, other teams weighed in and began trade discussions, and the Texans realized they had a commodity to trade and something that they could get a player or pick in return for. They had discussions with the Falcons and with the New Orleans Saints. Those are the two teams that had an interest in TJ Yates. The Falcons were able to get the deal done, bring him in as a backup to Matt Ryan. Reminds me of the situation earlier this offseason when the Saints themselves planned to waive Darren Sproles only to find out that there were other teams like the Washington Redskins and Philadelphia Eagles interested in trading for Darren Sproles. They wound up trading to Philadelphia. A very similar situation unfolded here with T.J. Yates. When the Texans planned to waive him, the Falcons and Saints step forward, and the Falcons ultimately get a deal done for the linebacker. And with Yates out earlier in the week, Houston naming Ryan Fitzpatrick their starting quarterback, Adam Schefter, with the very latest around the NFL.